हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज एवोपरेशन नाउ डेफिनेशन व्हाट इज एवोपरेशन थ्योरेटिकली एवोपरेशन मींस सिंपली वेपराइजेशन फ्रॉम द सरफेस ऑफ द लिक्विड एवोपरेशन इज एन evaporation is an unit operation by which a solvent is evaporated from a solution by boiling the liquor in a suitable vessel and withdrawing the vapor leaving a concentrated liquid residue now what are the objectives of evaporation basic objective of evaporation is to make a solution more concentrated generally it means generally extracts are concentrated in this way now we will study what is the multiple effect evaporator this is a typical diagram of triple effect evaporator in which this indicates the feed this indicates feed steam and ps indicates the vapor pressure ps p1 p2 p3 indicates the uh, vapor pressures of different evaporators as well as uh, of starting steam and ts t1 t2 t3 are the different temperatures of different evaporators whereas ps the vapor pressure of steam is greater than uh, pressure in first effect evaporator greater than pressure in second effect evaporator and similarly it is greater than third effect evaporator in this diagram all the evaporators are connected with each other the vapor from first evaporator is uh, used as a source of steam in case of second evaporator and similarly from second evaporator it is used as a steam source in third effect evaporator in case of uh, uh, first effect evaporator the temperature is higher as compared to second effect and third effect evaporators from third effect of evaporator the vapor is going to the condenser and then to vacuum pump and the condensate is collected from the bottom of the condenser in this multiple effect evaporator the product is collected from the last effect evaporator that is third effect evaporator now we will study uh, same here in a single effect evaporator steam is supplied for heating the liquor the total effect heat is not transferred from the steam so the rest of the heat is wasted to use that heat efficiently connections are made so that the vapor from one effect serves as the heating medium from the next effect which i explained earlier now the dilute feed enters the first effect where it is partly concentrated it flows to the second effect for additional concentration and then to the third effect for final concentration the liquor is pumped out of the third effect in the first effect raw steam is fed in which vapor pressure in the evaporator is the highest that is highest p1 the second effect has a intermediate vapor pressure that is p1 greater than p2 greater than p3 this pressure gradient is maintained by drawing the vapor through a vacuum pump and condensing after the final effect this which i have also explained earlier in the previous slide depending on the lowering of vapor pressure boiling point of liquids of second and third effect will also be lowered that is t1 greater than t2 greater than t3 in the second effect evaporator from first effect temperature is heating the liquor having temperature t2 so there is a temperature gradient t1 minus t2 consequently the liquor will be heated similarly heating will be done in the third effect also methods of feeding there are four different 
methods of feeding arrangement in the case of multiple effect evaporator first one is forward feeding then backward feeding third one is mixed feeding and last one is parallel feeding so we will go for first one that is forward feeding in case of forward feeding the feed enters the feed enters from the first effect evaporator and the steam is also entered into the first effect evaporator from this uh, uh, effect the vapor which is produced in first effect evaporator that is used in the second effect evaporator as a source of steam and similarly from vapor from the second effect evaporator will be used as a source of steam in case of third effect evaporator and in and so on and the feed which we are entering into the first effect evaporator from the bottom we are collecting the little bit concentrated liquid and it is again sent back to the second effect evaporator as a feed from the second it is sent to the third effect and similarly it is from third to the fourth effect evaporator and finally from the fourth effect evaporator we are collecting the product now what are the advantages of forward feeding feed moves from high pressure to low pressure chamber so pumping of liquor is not required product is obtained at lowest temperature this method is suitable for scale forming liquid because concentrated product is subjected to lowest temperature disadvantages it is not suitable for cold feed because the steam input in effect one raises that raises the temperature of the feed and raises the temperature of the feed and a small amount of heat is supplied as a latent heat of vaporization therefore amount of vapor produced will be less than the amount of steam supplied therefore the overall economy is lower next is backward feeding in backward feeding steam is entered into the evaporator from the first effect then the vapor which is produced in first effect is used as a source of steam in second and similarly to the fourth effect of evaporator but the feed is entered from the fourth effect of evaporator and the concentrated liquid is slightly moving into the third effect second effect then to third effect and then to fourth uh, first effect and from first effect the, it is fourth third second and first from first effect the product is collected in backward feed the feed enters in the last effect and moves towards the first effect that is from fourth third second one now it is suitable for cold feed because the heat used for increasing the temperature in fourth effect is already used for heating three times so this will give more economy in the method is suitable for viscous products because highly concentrated product is at highest temperature hence lower viscosity the liquid moves from low pressure to high pressure chambers so pumping is required this is the main disadvantage of this method third one is mixed feeding in this case the feed enters into the third effect evaporator then it moves from to fourth effect then to second effect and to first effect advantage of this method is liquid moves from high pressure to low pressure hence third to fourth no pumping is required when but liquid moves from fourth to second to first then it requires pumping product is obtained from highest temperature hence lowest viscosity and finally it is the parallel feeding it is suitable where the feed has to be concentrated slightly that means in this case in each of the evaporator feed is entered it is first effect we are giving the feed second effect we are giving the feed third effect we are giving the feed and fourth effect we are giving the feed separately and from each evaporator we are collecting the product as a thick liquor so friends this is all about uh, feeding arrangements of multiple effect evaporator and now i think you can understand what is 
evaporation and what are the different methods of feeding of feeding arrangement in case of multiple effect evaporator along with their advantages and disadvantages thank you